Okay, well, lots of people with gardens have uh, many zucchini plants and they know how prolific they can be. Uh, a lot of people that we've met and talked to are unaware that the gorgeous yellow flowers also, uh, well, they're a, a delicacy in Italy and we're going to show you how to harvest and prepare them. All right, uh, both the genders of the zucchini plant produce flowers, and you can see here both types. Right here is a female which, which has the fruit attached to it, and this uh, the zucchini is about ready. To, it's a very nice little one, it'll be more tenderful, tender and flavorful, and we'll be able to harvest the flower uh, just at the very top of the zucchini fruit. Next to it here, there is a male, and I'll show you the difference there by simply cutting off the stem. As you can see, there's no zucchini fruit on the bottom of the male uh, part of the plant. All right, now we have a beautiful harvest of uh, three male and one female zucchini flowers, plus a little bit of zucchini. These zucchinis, by the way, you will notice the stripes there. These are not uh, what you normally see, at least in our local grocery stores. These are zucchinis that we grew from seeds. Uh, they are what are called the Costa Romanesca variety, an Italian variety. They do tend to produce, we've noticed, producing rather larger flowers uh, than the uh, more standard uh, zucchinis that we've gotten already uh, sprouted at places like Home Depot. Now, we normally will do our harvesting before noon at best, earlier in the morning the better, because these things seem to pop open during the night. Um, and what we will do then is, after bringing them up, we'll clean them, uh, I'll trim them up a little bit, uh, and then we'll be doing the stuffing. So the trimming, again, will start, we don't really need these really long stems on the male, so those will come off of there, and those will go off to our composting process. Uh, we'll take the uh, flower off of the zucchini off of the, the female here, just cut it right about there, and that fellow will get set aside for uh, other uses later on. So next, each of the uh, flowers has inside it there, has a, a, the stamen or pistol stamen combos. I'm going to go in with a pair of tweezers and just pick those out. Uh, out they come. There we are. Oh, the, the males, I don't want to harry this flower too much. I'll just pull it out. It's uh, And generally speaking, it just has the one single. Uh, if I can see the difference between the male and the female. And we'll also take off these little outside sprigs. And having done all of that, we'll now wash them. Just cold running water. Like you find a lot of ants and things on the inside. So just uh, a little shake them. They're very delicate, so you have to be quite careful. Now, the object of uh, what we've done so far is to produce some uh, these beautiful um, flowers, which we are now going to stuff with something or other. Uh, you can use a variety of things. Uh, our favorite is a combination of fresh basil, which we picked from our, our, our herb garden outside, about two or three uh, medium-sized leaves per flower, and you can use some kinds of cheeses. Uh, we've used uh, ricotta, we've used mozzarella. Our favorite is Pecorino Romano. Uh, you can make a mixture. You can throw in some Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, whatever you like. But this is our favorite. So what we're going to do now is stuff them right now. Uh, we're going planning on using this uh, probably six hours from now in the evening. But we'll get them stuffed while the leaves are still fairly uh, uh, vibrant. So again, it takes for these rather large flowers, like this female here, about two tablespoons of the pecorino. Uh, 
uh, the smaller ones a little bit less than that. So we'll just uh, roughly grate then uh, enough pecorino. Okay, that looks like about the right amount of pecorino. Now wrap that back up right away. Try to handle it as little as possible directly. Uh, we'll chop up the basil a bit. And mix them all mix them all together. I'll break up the longer strands of the pecorino. Um, some of the other cheeses you might want to add a little salt and pepper, but we find that the uh, pecorino is, in particular is quite salty, so we don't add any extra salts uh, to that. Two. That's the biggie. So about three, maybe a little more of those. Um, now, if you fail to harvest the flowers early enough, later in the day, they will clam up on you. Uh, they will close in. The leaves will become uh, a little bit brittle, and it's very hard to open them up and stuff them this way. Uh, when that occurs, don't despair. It's still possible to uh, uh, rescue the situation uh, with an operation that I would uh, um, call a C-section. You would simply come in here and make a little incision uh, up along one of the lay major leaves, you can then open that up, pull out the uh, interior parts, and stuff through there. Uh, but today we're in good shape here, and we'll just stuff them through the front end. Yeah, that one's going to be just fine with two spoons. All right, so because of these flowers are kind of open and uh, floppy, they're going to be very hard to uh, bread later on. So I'll just take a little piece of kitchen twine and very loosely cinch them down a little bit to train them over the course of the afternoon to be a little bit easy. And I generally go in here and consciously do a granny knot, not a square knot, so that it comes apart very easily later in the day. Same way with these other fellows, just to train them a little bit. And there they are. And last but not least, we'll take a paper towel, dampen it, squeeze it out nicely, and lay it over the flowers. And we'll put them into the fridge. And that'll be fine. It's, it's just noon now, and we'll be doing the, the rest of the cooking around 5, 5.30. Uh, if, if we have found that it is possible to save these uh, overnight, certainly, so for a day and a half, but if uh, you're going to save them overnight uh, in the afternoon, uh, redampen this cloth a little bit and then cover it with, uh, with a plastic wrap to preserve them better. So into the fridge it goes. Now I've mixed up just one egg and I have then um, some panko flour. Now we, you can use you can use a tempura-like batter, or you can use regular breadcrumbs, uh, but we like the panko with the egg wash. So we'll begin with the with the big female zucchini flour, and we'll just roll it over a few times in the egg wash, and bring it out to the panko, and gently roll it in the panko flour. And back to the plate, and number two. All right, now we're ready to uh, do the frying of the zucchini flowers. Uh, as I mentioned just a moment ago, you can either use the panko, and we also did a pair of them then with ordinary breadcrumbs. You could use a tempura batter. Uh, I'm going to give a sort of moderate, medium-high heat here on the pan. That warm up for just a moment. And then I will introduce about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Very important uh, piece of kitchen machinery mm -hmm. is the infrared uh, thermometer. Well, you can do without that. Hmm? <laughs> you can do without it. No, I won't. Uh, Nona never had one. 
Well, no one ever had one, but I'm a techno geek, so I'm going to use it. And we'll bring the oil up then gently to about 350. And so in go the flowers, and I we're going to use, support them with a little spatula here just to help get them over there without dropping too much breading off of them. In they go. A little shake. And it's just a couple of minutes on each side. I've also prepared here another plate with some paper towels onto which I will place them when the frying is done. So it's about a minute or so on each side. Uh, you can also do these deep fried, but I think that's a, to me, that's a little bit uh, brutal. And it also needs an awful lot more cooking of oil, heating up of oil. So we'll just kind of turn those over. And as you can see, they're now very beautifully brown. Just a minute or so on either side to come. And we find that for a nice snack, an hors d'oeuvre, or a couple of them a piece is just about right. So we'll let them drain for and cool. They're very hot. And then we'll repair to the living room with our white wine. Bon appetit.